I have reached the age where it's time to go vroom vroom. If you're just a wee little baby and don't know how it all works, before you drive, you get to go to a magical place known as the DMV. There are lots of steps you have to take with getting your driver's license, but this story takes place with me having to get my permit test. If you don't know what that is, look it up, I'm moving on. So, I'm in school, I had already planned to go to the DMV today, I've studied for the test, like I'm ready, it's gonna go great. After school I got home and looked on their website for things I needed to do before I went, which might have been a waste of time. <laughs> it took forever to sign into the website just to tell me I needed to bring a birth certificate and some other documents my dad had. So me and my dad leave around 2. It closes at 5, but they stop taking tests at 4.30. But we still have plenty of time, and I'm ready. There is no way I'm failing this. We get to the DMV, and the line wasn't even that long. I've heard people say that they had to wait in a line that looped around the whole building, which is exactly what I was expecting, but no, short line. Good afternoon. Have you had any COVID symptoms or been exposed in the last four months? Man, you're tall. Uh, here, I'll check your temperature. Beep. All right, you're good to go. I'll get you too. Beep. All right, here's some stickers. We move on in the line, and in maybe 10 minutes, we get to the uh, administration desk. Hello. Man, you're tall. Uh, okay, I'll take those. Okay, okay. All right, so you'll be G125, and you can wait in the car until we come. Wait, where's your pink slip? Uh, I should have brought that. So again, for the widow babies, you get your pink slip after you pass driver's ed, which is a class in high school you'll most likely take. Anyways, I didn't think to bring that. Luckily, the lady was really nice and tried helping us out. Okay, um, you could just go home and get it, and then show it to the person you pay for the test. Okay. <laughs> we got there with more than enough time, leaving us to wait in the car until they call us. We knew they were going to call on us soon, so we went inside and sat down. Now serving G125 at window number 11. Alright, what can I do for you guys? Permit test. Alright, I'll take those from you, and if you could just sign your name here. Man, you're tall. Uh, okay, put your thumb on the scanny thingy right there. Okay, thank you. Now just read the thing from me. Sorry, what? Oh, just the letters here with me. Okay. Garrett, where are you going? What? Read the letters up there. Oh, okay. I heard something like, go stand or something behind me, meaning I had to go around the other windows. Like, okay, I was kind of nervous. I wasn't thinking straight. I just wanted to take my test. E, S, F, G, E, K. All uh, right, uh, the second line. L, and cover your left eye. L, S, N, J, R, W. And third line, covering your right eye. G, H, Y, P, F, D. All right, great, you only missed one. What? I don't need glasses. I have good vision. I was just being dumb and rushing through them. I had said F when it was actually E. All right, so now I'm just gonna ask- Sign out! Oh, great. Everybody sign out. You sign out. We all need to sign out! Uh, what's going on? <sighs> the system's down. Everyone has to sign out when it happens. Uh, it should only take around 10 minutes. You guys can sit back down until it's up again. Right now, it's most likely around 3.45, and like I said before, they don't take tests after 4.30, so I'm starting to worry. But he said it would only be 10 minutes, so we're fine. Everyone sign in! It's back up! All right, the test will be $38. Just take this and wait in line over there so you can take your picture. Awesome. We were second in line and the person in front of us was already taking their picture. But uh, after a while of waiting, we noticed she was just standing there. The person behind the camera looked at it like she'd never seen it before. And eventually she was like, Deborah, uh, camera's not working. Dude, it's almost 4.30. If you keep this up, we're probably not gonna- Shh, it's fine. I don't wanna come back here. After a few minutes, they got it to work. The person in front of us leaves, and I take my picture, and I could finally take my test. We go to the testing area, give him a paper, he leads me to a desk to finally take my test. Oh, <laughs> well that's good everything turned out okay in the end. <laughs> I was joking. By the time I got to the desk, it was 4.36.
Hello, so I'll take that from you. And you paid for the test at the desk before, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Oh. Um, unfortunately, we stopped taking tests at 430. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> now, you guys could come back tomorrow since you already paid and you already took pictures, so you could just go right to taking the test. Do, do you think we could make an exception with all the technical difficulties? Unfortunately, we're not allowed by the state to be here past five, blah, blah, blah. We go to the car, defeated. We go back home, defeated. I go to my desk, and I write the script for this video. <laughs> sure, it sucked, but it made for a good video. Two days later, we went back, and it was a Thursday. And oh my gosh, there was nobody there. We get in line, there's like three other people in front of us, and since we already paid for the test and did everything we needed to do, we zoomed straight to the test, I took it, I passed and we went home. Uh, yeah, it's the end. Thank you for watching and eat your vegetables.